The Nebraska Republican Party is the affiliate of the Republican Party in Nebraska. The party is led by Chairperson Dan Welch. The headquarters of the party are located in Lincoln. Party history After 1860, Republicans dominated state elections in Nebraska for 30 years. Senator George W. Norris played a major role in forming the Tennessee Valley Authority during the Great Depression. The state has been strongly Republican during presidential elections. As a result of a referendum in 1934, Nebraska has the United States' only unicameral legislature, known as the Nebraska Unicameral. All representatives are officially nonpartisan. Topic: Political campaigns. In December 2009, the party organized a nationwide effort to unseat Democratic Senator Ben Nelson in 2012 under the theme "Give Ben the Boot." Topic: Current elected officials. The Nebraska Republican Party currently controls all six statewide offices, both of the state's U.S. Senate seats, and all three of the state's U.S. House seats. While the Nebraska State Legislature is officially nonpartisan, Republicans hold a supermajority in its chamber when taking into account legislators' political affiliations. <laughs> <laughs> Members of Congress U.S. Senate Deb Fisher Ben Sass U.S. House of Representatives Jeff Fortenberry, 1st District Don Bacon, 2nd District Adrian Smith, 3rd District <laughs> Statewide offices Governor, Pete Ricketts Lieutenant Governor, Mike Foley Secretary of State, John A. Gale Attorney General, Doug Peterson Treasurer, Don Stenberg Auditor, Charlie Jansen Party officers Leadership Dan Welch, Chairman Chuck Conrad, Assistant Chairman Cindy Allen, Assistant Chairman Darlene Starman, Assistant Chairman Brian Sloan, Secretary Rod Krogh, Treasurer J. L. Spray, National Committeeman Joyce Simmons, National Committeewoman Bob Evnan, Legal Counsel Presidents Gerald Ford, a Republican from Omaha, became Vice President of the United States at Spiro Agnew's resignation. President Nixon would later resign, making Ford President. He would be President from 1974 to 1977, when he lost the general election to Jimmy Carter. <laughs> 